Hey y'all, Shelly here with another tip for hospice nurses. So I had a request to do a video on how to have the conversation with someone when they ask you how long they have left, whether it's the patient or the family member. Um, and I think that this is something we deal with a lot, obviously in hospice, but I think that there's sort of two different times that this occurs. So it occurs whenever we admit a patient and then it occurs when somebody is much closer to the end of life. So when I admit a patient, um, you know, sometimes people think oh, I'm going on hospice. That means that just because I'm on hospice that I'm that death is imminent. And y'all know that's not always the case. Um, and so people will sometimes ask. If they don't ask though, I usually bring it up. I like to address issues or fears or concerns that I know most people have. And that way, if we just go ahead and address that elephant in the room, it can really help to bring some comfort and peace to your patient and to their family members. So if they don't say anything, I'll bring it up by saying something like, you know, a lot of people feel like going on hospice means that your end of life is really near, but that's not always the case. Sometimes we have people, patients on hospice that are with us for weeks or months or even years. So we don't really know at this point, I can't really give you a, a time frame. What I can tell you though, is that I will be very honest with you. I will let you know as I see things change, if I see a decline, if I see anything that's significant, I give you my word that I will be upfront and honest with you so that you will know what's going on and so you're able to plan. And I find that when I say this to people that you can just see that they just visibly relax. They, that's off their mind. They know they don't have to worry about it more because they know that we're gonna, we're gonna be honest with them. And that's really important. And then the other time is when somebody is towards the end of life, when you really feel like they are in the pre-transitional phase um, and people want to know, well, how long do they have? That can sometimes be hard to answer because as y'all know, sometimes somebody will take a, a you know deep decline and then plateau for a little while. So what I will give them my best answer, but if I really don't know, I'm going to be honest about that too. And I'm going to say, well, you know, we've had a significant decline. So this is an indication that maybe getting closer to the end of life. I don't think it's gonna to be today or tomorrow, but I don't have a crystal ball. What I will tell you is that I think that now is a good time that you bring in anyone that wants to, that you wanna to talk to, anyone that would wanna say goodbye. I recommend you call, call them in now, just in case. I think that's so important that we, I would rather underestimate than overestimate the amount of time, because that way if people come in and need to say goodbye and make amends, they're able to do that. So I hope this tip was helpful. If you have any tips that would be helpful for hospice nurses, please let me know. I'd love to share them here. And remember, together we can change our world. And y'all go take the Hospice Nurse Your Opinion Matters survey. It starts October 1st at hospicenursesurvey.com. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.